and we can expect scenes like this in London this weekend. Michael Jackson will be flying in to do the opening performance at the 1996 Brit Awards. It'll be his first performance since he was released from hospital. Michael will be performing his number one song, Earth Song, as he did on German TV in November last year. This time, though, the organisers of the Brit Awards say that the staging and choreography will be unique to this one-off event. for now 15 years very dedicated wherever he goes I go no matter where it is I came here at 6 30 this morning in a freezing cold and I've been waiting all this time so hopefully I'll get to see him it's the only chance to get a glimpse of him I mean can pass it up I think it's the magic and the myth that surrounds Michael I think that's what attracts me to him more than anything else well he only comes once every so often he hasn't been for about three and a half years so it's worth to see him get a few pictures. While hundreds of Michael Jackson fans braved the British winter weather today, hoping to catch a glimpse of their idol in London, Jacko's here to perform live at next week's Brit Awards. After lying low for most of the day, he finally emerged to go shopping. For the guests at one of London's poshest hotels, it was not the most tranquil of mornings. A handful of hardy fans had kept up the chant all night, but as day dawned, the crowd swelled and so did the noise. King of pop, king of pop. For most of the day, their pleas fell on deaf ears. They had to make do with pale imitations of the real thing. Then this evening, the masked superstar finally emerged. Some say it's to ward off germs. Others claim the mask hides his deteriorating plastic surgery. But even a partial glimpse of their idol was enough to raise his fans to new heights of ecstasy. One young man managed to break through the security screen, but was quickly bundled away. Jackson is in London to perform Earth Song at the Brit Awards on Monday night. It will be his first public show since his dramatic onstage collapse 
while rehearsing for a concert with my artist Marcel Marceau in New York. Jackson's doctor said at the time he believed the star was just 15 minutes from death. It's one of the reasons the fans had turned out today, but after a brief walkabout, their masked hero was whisked off for some sightseeing. Judging by his reception, the hotel guests are in for another sleepless night. John Gumbley, Sky News. Popstar Michael Jackson überraschte die Londoner mit einem Bummel durch den Stadtteil Westend. Dort besuchte er unter anderem das berühmte Hermle Spielzeuggeschäft und Piccadilly's Rock Circus Restaurant. Bei Madame Tussaud prüfte Michael die Echtheit seines wechselnden Ebenbildes. Ein Straßenkünstler wollte es genau wissen. Und siehe, er war's. Pop-Ikone Michael Jackson. Manch einer der Fans hatte 28 Stunden gewartet, um sein Idol zu sehen. Ein Mann mit Maske flaniert durch London. Wenn das nicht Michael Jackson ist, denken sich die Passanten und der sonst so scheue Megastar, der heute bei einer Poppreisverleihung auftritt, lässt sich sogar für Familienalben ablichten. Nur einer kann nicht so recht glauben, dass hinter der Maske auch der echte Jacko steckt. Dieser Straßengaukler ist überzeugt, er sei einem Double begegnet. Erst auf den zweiten Blick erkennt er, wen er vor sich hat. Vielleicht hat Michael dadurch selbst an seiner Echtheit Zweifel bekommen. Doch ein Besuch bei Madame Tussauds hat ihn wieder überzeugt, ich muss das Original sein. Tonight, two of the biggest names in pop, Michael Jackson and Take That, will be performing here in London. And John Kurz is somewhere over there talking to the fans. Over to you, John. Thanks, Carolyn. Yes, indeed, Michael Jackson is here, as are Take That, who are making their last performance, sadly, for their British fans. And I think I found some of the fans here. <laughs> Have you seen Michael Jackson? Uh, we don't! We don't his white glove out of the car! If Michael Jackson has any sense, he's probably inside because it's way too cold. See you later. Seen Michael Jackson? No, not yet. Have you seen Michael Jackson? No, not yet. Does nobody know where he is? I used to dream. But first, pulp singer Jarvis Cocker was arrested at last night's Brit Awards in London. Jarvis jumped onto the stage as Michael Jackson was performing his number one hit single, Earth Song. Three children who were on stage with Jackson were hurt during the incident. Jarvis then fought with security guards who tried to remove him. He was held in a London police station until the early hours of this morning and then released on bail. Michael Jackson war mit einem Preis für sein Lebenswerk bedacht worden. Zum Dank gab er seinen Earth Song zum Besten. Als er sich dann aber in Jesus-Pose von Kindern die Hände küssen ließ, tickte Pulp-Sänger Jarvis Cocker aus. Jarvis versuchte, auf den Set zu stürmen, um Jackson zu stoppen. Dabei fielen drei Kinder von der Bühne und verletzten sich. Der Pulp-Sänger wurde von der Polizei festgenommen. Das gesamte Filmmaterial liegt unter Verschluss. Beim achten Brit Award gab es nicht nur jede Menge Preise für die Musiker verschiedenster Kategorien, sondern auch einen handfesten Skandal. 
Während des Showauftritts von Michael Jackson stürmte Popsänger Jarvis Cocker auf die Bühne. Die Polizei nahm ihn vorübergehend fest. Seine Begründung später, ich konnte nicht mehr mit ansehen, wie sich Michael Jackson als Jesus darstellt und so tut, als hätte er heilende Kräfte. Michael Jacksons Album History war nicht nominiert worden, weil es zu viele aufgearbeitete Songs enthält. Doch gab es ein Trostpflaster für ihn, die Auszeichnung als außergewöhnlicher Künstler einer Generation. Ja, da hatte Michael wohl ein bisschen Stress. Die Bilder übrigens von dieser aufregenden Schlägerei bei den Brit Awards können Sie morgen bei uns sehen. Exklusiv bei Sam. At the musical event of the week, when Pope singer Jarvis Cocker invaded the stage during Michael Jacksons performance at the Brit Awards. You can see Jarvis in the circle here. Jackson says he's sickened, saddened, shocked, cheated and angry. And he's accusing Jarvis of actually attacking the young children who appeared with Jackson on stage. Pulp's record label claimed this footage proves that Jarvis is innocent of any kind of attack. In fact, Jarvis said his actions were a form of protest at the way Michael Jackson sees himself as some Christ-like figure with the power of healing. But it doesn't end there. Pulp's record label are demanding that Jackson takes back the statement in which he accuses Jarvis of attacking the children and apologize to Jarvis or face legal action. The parents of a 12-year-old girl who danced with Michael also say that they will sue because of the incident. But it's unclear exactly who they will sue. Sie lieben und sie hassen sich. Pulp-Sänger Jarvis Cocker sprengte beim Brit Award Michael Jacksons Bühnenshow. Schon gestern haben wir ja von den Brit Awards, dem englischen Musikpreis, berichtet. Mit seinem handfesten Skandal um Pulpsänger Jarvis Cocker, der Michael Jacksons Bühnenshow demontierte. Und wie versprochen, können wir Ihnen heute die Bilder zum Ärger präsentieren. Weltexklusiv. Sekunden nach der Show. Michael Jackson ist sichtlich geschockt. Nervöse Bodyguards begleiten Jacko zur Garderobe zurück. Wenige Minuten vorher hatte er seinen Earth-Song auf der Bühne begonnen, wie schon im Video von Kindern angehimmelt. Die Choreografie sieht vor, dass die Kinder ihn in flehender Haltung umringen, mit schmerzverzerrten Gesichtern. 3000 Zuschauer sind von der Show fasziniert, nur einer nicht. Jarvis Cocker, Sänger der britischen Rockband Pulp. Angeegelt von der Jesus-Pose stürmt er mitten im Jackson-Auftritt auf die Bühne und stellt sich vor die Kinder. Ein Amateurfilmer fängt diese Bilder ein. Die Darsteller sind geschockt und verstört. Cocker kann ungestört herumlaufen und seine abfälligen Späßchen machen. Dann erst versucht einer der Tänzer Cocker abzudrängen, doch der gibt nicht auf. Als Cocker auf Michael Jackson losstürmt, wirft er drei Kinder zu Boden. Unter ihnen die zwölfjährige Ashley Moore, deren Eltern Cocker jetzt verklagen wollen. Er soll Ashley im Gerangel von der Bühne gerissen haben. Ein Elfjähriger blutet am Ohr. Einem siebenjährigen Tänzer tritt Cocker auf den Fuß. Erst jetzt können Bodyguards den Rowdy von der Bühne holen. Er wird festgenommen. Jacko rast über die Bühne, um seinen Einsatz zu finden. Und, als wäre nichts geschehen, setzt der Profi seine Show schließlich fort. But on a dramatic night, when Michael Jackson made his first live UK TV appearance for years, and when pulp singer Jarvis Cocker got himself into a spot of bother, it was time to reflect on the current bubbling state of British pop. And the real drama of the evening was provided by Michael Jackson's spectacular and rare TV appearance. Something Jarvis Cocker really got excited about. Perhaps the real success of the Brits, though, will be registered by the bulging cash tills. High street shops are already reporting bumper sales from those artists who were involved with the Brits. This is the part of the Brits viewers didn't see. The moment Jarvis Cocker got on stage during Michael Jackson's performance of Earth Song. Pulp's lead singer said he was making a protest at the Superstars Jesus Act. I was just sat there, you know, and watching it and feeling a bit ill because he's there doing his Jesus acts. And um, I could kind of see, I, it seemed to me that there was quite a lot of other people quite distasteful as well. As Jackson left the stage, he was said to be sickened, angry and saddened at reports that Jarvis Cocker had attacked children taking part in the show. They arrested me and said, oh, you know, you ran onto, us, onto that stage and, and assaulted some kids. I couldn't, I, I couldn't really believe that they were saying that at first. Um, 
But then, you know, they carted me off to the police station, so it wasn't so much of a joke then.